Bro, why are people hating on Black Adam so much, bro? It's like they have a uh, an intentional, we don't want this to succeed. So here's another article with Black Adam rock bottoms at the box office. <laughs> rock bottom, you know, I get it. Ooh. I got probably got paid good for that little sentence, but... Yeah, the DC film is currently 200 million in the red, needing a theatrical run of 600 million to break even. Bro, Black Adam's been out for like so long already, and y'all still trying to say that it was a flop. Well, I mean, well, if you see these, it technically would say it would be a flop, but you have to understand too, this is DC, bro. DC movies don't do as well, and it's like, Black Adam was kind of like the jump start, you know, to get you started. And you know what? When it started, it was a success, boy. Everybody was already hating on it, saying it's not going to do good. And it's like, of course they don't want it. You got a big buff ass dude. No, you got to be a scrawny ass weak man. And it has to be strong and independent women. You know how it is, you know, with Hollywood, man. I don't know why they do this. You know, it's crazy. So they say Dwayne Johnson worked hard to generate hype around his DC Universe debut, Black Adam, but it seems like nobody was truly ready for the hierarchy of power to change, although Black Adam brought in just under 400 million box office. Bro, that's still really good, which is no small feat and certainly not bad run. The film needs around 600 million worldwide to break even and turn a profit. Bro, this is a thing. Like I said, DC don't got no bangers. Plus, this is a new character. So I say for what it is, it did amazing, you know? It is badass. It, you know, it's like Marvel. It is expected. You bring a Spider-Man movie, that thing's going to make back. Black Adam was some new stuff, you know? And he is the opening. And then at the ending scene, spoiler alert. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's your own damn fault, whatever. You see the end that you see Superman. So you already know Henry Cavill's coming back. Then you're going to get that guy. And then you're going to get Shazam. And then Shazam is like, you got three super powerful ass dudes. I like what this is doing now. You know, getting the three buff ass dudes and get the manliness started. Hence why I feel like, you know, Hollywood don't like this movie and they keep capping on it. I mean, when Wakanda came out, bro, man, they started throwing some nasty flack on Black Adam saying like, oh, see, it didn't do as good, you know, Black Wakanda Forever did so much better than Black Adam. And I'm just like, as a regular person, no shit, it's Black Panther. It's already a known freaking character. It's freaking badass. And on top, you got the black community wanting a black superhero. Of course, you know, Wakanda Forever is going to kick butt, you know. And it, it, and it shows you, it's so great that even though the people that made it, I feel ruined it with all the woke culture and wham and power making men dumb and then race swapping one of the guys into like a Mexican guy, you know, ethnic and all that shit and put every freaking racial stereotype of a Latino. It doesn't matter. It still did good because Black Panther is a loved character. Now, again, I said it. Black Adam, that dude is nobody knew him, you know, so you need a big banger of a person. What better than The Rock, sir? And I say The Rock has done an amazing job. But yeah, people make this like, like you know, oh, Black Adam, it needs, it's the best of the best of these. Uh, for right now, I guess it is because they have this catastrophe. You already got freaking Flash and the problems with all the pedal stuff with that guy. Then you had the Catwoman movie and they're like, yeah, we're going to put this. It's some woke garbage. We got to throw that away. And it's just like fail after fail. They did the Batman and Superman, which they fast forward that so fast. And we still got the new The Batman, which was an emo Batman. He wasn't buff. He was weak. He's rich as dude and sad and doesn't use his money to have a good time. Instead, he's sad and emo and it's like, bro, we don't feel bad for you. Okay, I get it. You lost your fucking family. I understand that's really bad. Damn it, I cussed. But, Jesus, bro, use that inheritance to make you happy. By the way, you got a father figure. You got your butler, man. He's your father figure, and he's a badass dude, too. Anyways, this is not, has nothing to do with the freaking show. So they're saying, Variety reports that the sources of Warner Bros. claims that the studio only needs 400 or 450 million in theaters to break even. But that seems unlikely to happen considering that Black Adam has become far more popular as an at-home viewing experience. The main reason this happened is because the film dropped on platforms and streaming services after only 33 days rather than the pre-pandemic 75 days. Which means that the people who were in the fence about seeing the film in theaters likely decided to just wait for it and hit the streaming service. 
Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, so it went straight to the streaming services. So, you know, it's, it's true. I mean, even with Marvel, bro, I, when I found out, man, the, the Thor movie, whatever, Thunder, whatever one, was garbage, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to wait till, you know, Disney Plus comes in and I'll just watch it from there. I think it's a lot better. And I guess the same thing happened with, you know, Black Adam. And, I mean, it's the best you can do. I mean, I mean, it's been, for, you have to compare this to the DC movies. Out of the DC movies, this thing did a lot. And even though it didn't hit, like, they, even if they lost money, you need it, bro. Because DC ain't got nothing right now, bro. I mean, Jesus, man. They, they, they get a couple bangers like the Joker and stuff. But the thing is that it's not in the universe, though. I hate that. Like, they still got to work on that. But, like I said, there's new management. It took a lot of the world stuff. And we're slowly coming to this point where we're finally going to start seeing good movies that have nothing to do with today's problems. And you can just go to the theater and get away. So, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it as that. So, what do y'all guys think, huh? Y'all think uh, Black Adam was a flop? I don't think it did. it was. And it's like, for DC, this is the best they got for now. And you need it, even if you lose it. But that's my, you know, personal idea. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section, bro, whatever you think. And if you made it this far, bro, hit a freaking like, sir. And if you like the dumbass stuff I say, bro, subscribe. And that'll be all. Chin Marman out.